Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick look at your forecast for the early morning hours of Sunday and beyond. Got some pretty good amounts of fog out there, but not for everybody. We're also seeing, again, some pretty quiet but chilly conditions as a freeze warning remains in effect for much of the Mid-South area for right now. Going to continue again to see the possibility of some more of the area with some fairly cool conditions into the rest of the forecast for today. But as we we go into the next several days with one minor exception. We're going to be staying a little bit on the mild side. It looks like fairly quiet conditions again across much of the Mid-South for the time being. We could begin seeing again the possibility of some decent amounts of thunderstorms at this time of the year. Showers and thunderstorms a possibility but so far just not really seeing too much of anything uh, to worry about at this time. Welcome to everybody who's joining us on Periscope and Twitter and also on our Facebook page. So thanks a lot for checking in for the forecast. i got to hop back out here in just a little bit to, to get the forecast done on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Melissa Moon out there right now with the news. Mike Sadie has an update on sports coming up in just a little bit. And if you'd like to know more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South, again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Like our weather bug pictures, Germantown City Hall can with sunshine starting to show up into the area, but also a little bit of haze and fog down the line. Not seeing anything in the way of precipitation across the Mid-South. Quiet on radar so far with little, if anything, going on directly here, so not that much happening at this point. Rest of the area for today, we'll take a look at what's going on again with the possibility of frost across the Mid-South. Got current conditions out there, some fairly cool numbers, and again, well below freezing for a good portion of about 10 different states from the Great Lakes all the way down to near the Gulf of Mexico, including the Mid-South. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. Philippe remains a tropical storm. Winds of about 40, uh, 45 to 50 miles per hour. So if you have any plans to travel to around Florida or anywhere around the East Coast states, Philippe is going to be making its way back to the north and to the east and could become what's called a nor'easter storm. When that happens, could be, again, some slowdowns in delays on travel into around areas close to D.C., Philly, uh, Baltimore, Boston, New York, into that area. So this could be, again, a bit of a problem there if you are going to be traveling for later on. But otherwise, no problems for us. Philippe, running out of names at this point in time. We only have about five names left in the list. It's been a busy season. Rena is next. Sean, Tammy, Vince, and then Whitney. And then back through the Greek alphabet once again. So, again, we're getting a little bit close to that end of the season within about a month or so of closing out the hurricane season. So that'll be kind of nice to see that happen pretty soon. New cold front on the way. As we get into the next couple of days, it'll be arriving as we go into around Monday. And then through about Tuesday, we see again the potential of some showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South for Tuesday afterwards. This is where we could be again seeing the possibility of some problems coming our direction with this next front developing into some thunderstorms out there. But hopefully holding off for the trick-or-treaters, there may be the possibility of some scattered light showers coming our direction as we get into early Tuesday back to our west and some thunder thunderstorms down to the south. Again, very close to trick-or-treating time. Hopefully we'll get that in before we get too far into the trick-or-treating possibility, but stay tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that potential out there for now. Temperatures for highs today back into the mid to upper 50s, and that's about as good as it gets. Not seeing again a lot of good news out across the Mid-South where it comes to very warm weather, as in normal, not happening for today, and those winds will be switching back out of the southwest, so that'll be giving us again some warmer temperatures, slightly warmer anyway. Chilly tonight, bus stop temperatures tomorrow morning back into the mid-30s to lower to mid-40s. High temperatures on Monday approaching the mid to upper 60s, and then getting into Monday night, low temperatures will be back once again into the upper 30s to lower 40s. Tuesday, that front moves on through, winds will switch again back around to the north and that'll keep things a little cooler. Highs on Halloween during the day in the mid to upper 50s. Temperatures by the time the kids start trick-or-treating will be brisk back in the high 40s to the lower 50s. And again, we could see some showers starting to develop and move into our area. The good news about this is that as of right now, what we're going to be seeing is this rain moving into very dry air. So we don't have, again, a huge amount of rainfall immediately on Tuesday, but 
Again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more. Sam Riker, welcome from Olive Branch, 29 degrees. Thanks for dropping on by. Julia Cavallo, welcome to the show from Walls, Mississippi, with some frost there. And saying hey back to Jeremy Feathers, thanks for stopping on by for right now. Afterwards, we get into Tuesday night, low temperatures dropping to the lower to mid-40s, and highs on Wednesday going back upwards again as we head through the 60s and eventually into the 70s by the later part of the week. Updates on my forecast coming up on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Austinonic WREG. Also on Twitter at this time, if you're on I-240 at Mount Moriah, we do have, again, an accident taking place. That's I-240 right at the 385 connector, and traffic was at times backed up to Perkins and Mount Moriah, so please keep that in mind if you're traveling early this morning there. Check out all the pictures and some great ones available on our Instagram page, Aonic no underscore necessary, WREG3. And again, if you'd like to check out more about what's going on uh, in and around the Mid-South We've got tons of information at WRHE.com, including our seven-day forecast, which again updates again throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll keep you updated on that at WRHE.com slash weather. Something we forgot, something you'd like to see on here, something we can feature for you, please let me know. Blue bar up there, austin.onic at WRHE.com, and would love to hear from you. If there's something you'd like to see that will keep you coming back for our weather blog, let us know. We'd be glad to feature it on here if we have the time. And the ink, the possibility of, again, featuring different things at different times will be limited by what the weather's doing out there, so please keep Keep that in mind. Rest of the forecast again throughout the rest of the morning on daybreak and throughout the rest of the weekend. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more details there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a quick weather update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Sunday morning. <laughs>